Today, I will be showing you how to use the Bostic and Sullivan LUT system to create a digital negative for cyanotypes. These steps are the same for creating a digital negative in any process. The first step is to flatten the image. You can see here that I have a few adjustment layers. I navigate up to the layers dropdown and then select flatten image at the bottom of the menu. You can see now that there is only one layer. Even though your image is monochromatic, it needs to be in a color profile so we can use the LUT files. Navigate to the Edit dropdown and select Convert to Profile. We want our profile to be converted to Adobe 1998. Now that your image is flat and in the correct profile, we can apply the LUT. Navigate up to the Image dropdown and hover over Image Adjustments. Then in the second dropdown, select Color Lookup. Click on the first drop-down menu and click Load LUT. Select the cube file you downloaded from our website. Your photo should appear almost hazy. We now need to invert the image. Navigate up to the Image drop-down and hover over Image Adjustments. In the second drop-down menu, select Invert. You can also do this by using Ctrl or Command I. The photo is now a negative, but in order to make sure it prints the way you took it, we will need to flip the photo as well. Navigate to the Image drop-down and hover over Image Rotation. In the second drop-down menu, select Flip Canvas Horizontally. Now we can print our image. Bring up the Print dialog box and make sure the image is oriented correctly. Then check to make sure that Photoshop is managing the colors. You will want to be using this ICC profile. You can find it on our website. Then make sure Perceptual is selected for rendering intent and check the black point compensation box. The final step is to set your platen gap to wide and to increase the dry time between each head pass. All brands of printers and print drivers should let you do this. Once set, you can print your digital negative. If you have any questions, please reach out to us and we'd be happy to help.